Oh, Hank. Oh my god, Hank. Oh. Oh, what do I do here? Hey, what is up? All my fellow Slayers, it is Zombie Slayer 2948 here again with another video. Are you familiar with Schrodinger's cat? Until you decide what happens, everything is happening at once. Like in Detroit. Really? You're gonna interrupt me? Alright. <laughs> hey, what is up, all my fellow Slayers? It is Zombie Slayer 2948 here again with another video. And finally, welcome back to Detroit Become Human. Now, I am well aware that it has been about two months since I have last played this game. I am fully aware of that. Like I said, I've just been very, very busy. Haven't been able to play, haven't been able to play this or Days Gone. But I did just record episode three of Life is Strange. So that might be up before this or, you know, one or the other. So with that being said, welcome back to Detroit Become Human. Uh, in the last episode, uh, we rescued Alice from her abusive father. We knocked his ass out. We dragged her out of that house. And now we stay, we're staying in a motel room right now to keep her safe. Also, what? Way, did you know that you can review your story progress in the story chart section? You can also see the choices made by other players there. Cool. Anyway, so also what happened is uh, on Marcus's side of the story, uh, his son broke into the house and started going through his artwork to, make, to see if there was, there was like anything he could sell for drug money. And then we retaliated. We pushed him and... Uh, uh, we killed him. He's dead. Carl's son is dead. And then the police showed up and they shot us. So that happened as well. Also, on Connor's side of the story, we were investigating a murder case. A guy was stabbed uh, 58 times, I believe. No, 28 times. 28 stab wounds. Was that right? But we found him up in the attic. We brought him into, into interrogation. We interrogated him. He told us the whole story. Yada, yada, yada. The most important thing is not to live, but to have a reason to live. That's a quote from Jean Jounot, a French writer. I could care fucking less. But yeah, anyways, guys, let's continue our story of Detroit become human. Woo, it has been so damn long since I played this game. All right, November 6, 2038. Reboot? Wait, what? Is this a new character? Oh, that's Marcus. Oh. Oh, we're in the junkyard. And we are torn to shreds. Alright, diagnose, alright. Oh, God. Wait, what was that? Optical unit, impaired vision, corrupted mind pl palace. Oh, God, okay. So we actually have to find, like, new parts to replace, okay. Ethereum pump regulator, all systems in low power mode, defective. Okay. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Oh. Audio processor, corrupted audio data damaged. Oh, I hate that sound. And uh, what else? Oh, our leg's gone. Left leg and right leg components missing, unable to stand. Well, that's perfect. Not really, but hey. Replace legs. I, oh. Oh, we gotta crawl over there. Oh my god, dude. Come on. Jesus, dude. Oh, that's a leg. Right leg component. Oh, it's compatible. Nice. Sit up. Uh, L1. Okay. Oh. 
There we go. Alright, let's take this leg and put this bitch on. We're turning into a human Frankenstein or a android Frankenstein. There we go. Right leg functioning. Nice. Now we just need to get a left leg. Or oh, right leg, sorry. Wait. Right leg? Left I I forgot what leg we got already. Right leg opponent damage. Damn it. There we go. Oh god, that's another android, isn't it? <clears throat> oh god, dude. Wait, she's saying something. Oh yeah, it is the love leg we need to get. Nice. Alright, take it off. Or take it, whatever. There we go. Alright, we are not able to stand. Alright, let's get up. Come on, Marcus, get up. There you go, buddy. Escape the junkyard. Oh god, we also gotta re we gotta replace a lot of these components. Dude, we are torn to shreds. Oh my god, hi. Oh god. Find Jericho. What? All he was saying was find Jericho. Oh god, that is a fucking nightmare waiting to happen. Alright, let's do it. Oh god, oh god, that's disgusting. Oh god. Oh god, I hate this. Oh my god, nope. Mm -mm. Where are you going? No. Oh. Oh my god, dude, get up. Huh. That, uh. That. Alright, that android fell. Replace damaged parts. Oh, that's right, I can scan. I can't scan where. Shit, bro. Oh, sorry, man. Uh, damn it, it's not compatible. Shit. Uh. Alright, I think I saw. A Wait. Can I take a look at you? No, okay. Oh my god, dude, this is just disturbing as hell. Ah, damn, it's not compatible. We're just tossing them around like trash. Oh god, dude. Damn it. Oh, that is just a lower half. Okay. Oh my god. You prick. Can I interact with you? Alright. Oh, let me check this. Oh, audio processor. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. Oh god, I hate that sound. I hate that sound so bad, bro. Alright, insert. Hello? Oh. Oh wow, that's loud. That is so loud. Turn that down. Alright, well we got audio back, so that's good. But we also need to get... Oh god, yeah, we can't... 
can't use that. Check. Oh, it's compatible. Nice. Pull it out. There we go. I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do? Uh, oh god, dude. Oh god. Oh. That shit must hurt so bad. Oh, he looks like my dog now. He looks like my dog Jack. Alright. What's next? I need to find a pump regulator. Oh, we can look around now. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, I see one over here. Oh, God. I see something. Yeah, what's that? <gasps> yes! Give me your pump regulator. Give me it. There we go. Oh. Oh, it's even have a, it also has like a... Oh, that's our... We actually have a heart inside of us. Alright. Put it in. There we go. Nice. Climb the slope. Oh, Christ, dude. Do I have to? Oh, God. All right. Let's get out of here. All right. Oh, come on. Oh. Come on, dude. Come on, Marcus. You can do it. Oh, R2. Oh, okay. Dude, I'm holding up so many buttons right now. Oh, don't, don't slide down, Marcus. You got this, man. You got this. You got this. There you go. Check. What is that? <gasps> Wait, what? Rip off. <gasps> oh. Oh my god. He looks human now. <laughs> oh my god, dude. My name is Marcus. Wow. Dude, that is insane. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> From the dead. Nice. Oh, wow. I missed quite a few things. 57% complete. What else, could I do? what else could I have done? I was just putting myself back together. All right. You know what? Let's continue. Oh, Connor. November 6th, 2038. 
9.56 a.m. Okay. Uh, where the hell are we at? It said find Amanda. Is this Amanda up here? Are we in heaven or something? Amanda? Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Hi. It's nice to see Congratulations, you too. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? Uh... Traumatized. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This... Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? Uh... Dysfunctional? I would define him as dysfunctional. He obviously has a personal situation impacting his professional behavior and... seems to have no interest in the investigation. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Uh, adapt? I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of Wait, the why did that go down? I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Okay. Hurry, Connor. I, There's little time. I'm I'm trying my best, Amanda. Ah, oh, okay. I was about to say, oh, that was just a mission? Look for Lieutenant Anderson. Okay. Alright. Close up my rogue energy right there. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Connect. Oh, yeah, that stuff. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Alright. Sounds good. What the hell is happening here? The Arctic have reached a new level. A Russian carrier and an American patrol boat reported to have clashed last night. Several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties to either side. The Minister for Defense, Dennis Riggs, has spoken of intolerable provocation that cannot go unanswered. The countries in the region, particularly Sweden and Canada, have called for military forces to withdraw and an international conference to be held. So far, there has been no response from either Moscow or Washington. We'll keep you informed minute by minute as the situation develops. Huh. All right. Nice to know. So which one is uh his desk? Oh, I gotta find that out. All right. Who's is this? Oh, wrong one. Detective Reed. Okay, that's not his. Uh Whoa! What? What? What the hell?
Did he report them missing? Holy crap, dude. Alright, who's is this? Person. Your last name is Person. Nice. I keep pressing that one. Collins, okay, that's not the button I'm trying to press there. Okay, okay. Ah, here we go, right here. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. All right, then. Wait for Lieutenant Anderson. All right. Explore the new office. Okay. Alright. Uh, well, let's go ahead and snoop around. Uh... Oh, it's his music. Knights of the Knights of the Black Death released 2021. Hey, that's that's this year. It's November. Something like that better be released this year. I love rock music. <laughs> All right. Uh, shit. Uh, call. Okay. Call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not of course. Moment. Leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. Beep. Uh, leave a message. Lieutenant Anderson, this is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's almost noon, and I'm waiting for you at the office. Alright, let's uh, analyze his desk. Oh, okay. Donuts. Yummy. Donuts, calories 452. Yeah. Saturated fatty acids. 13 wait I'm not done yet 13 grams uh, cholesterol 9 milligrams carbohydrates 51 grams I mean hey you're definitely getting your carbohydrates on uh, coffee cup cold coffee traces of caffeine well yeah that's 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 coffee all right oh uh, what's up Japanese maple Asian I cannot pronounce that. I am so sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, what's this? Anti-Android slogans. Use your brain, not your Android. Android free space. Huh. Okay. Detroit basketball cap. Alright, Detroit... Oh, Alright, it's just Detroit basketball. Okay, uh, anything else on hit? Oh, we got multiple. Matches, Jimmy's Bar, Wood, Phosphorus. Yep, that's definitely that. Hairs, Canine Hairs, St. Bernard Dog. Oh, he's got a St. Bernard! Oh. Uh, Red Eyes Task Force 2027. Whew! Jesus Christ, I'll be... 27 at that point. Jesus Christ. Multi department unit responsible for the Red Ice Network dismantle of 2028. Okay. Uh, research. Okay. More than 50 arrests throughout the country. Detroit's finest it has dealt a massive blow to the city's ground red ice epidemic, with a number of high profile dealers and suppliers now behind bars and narcotics seized with a street value of $500,000. Damn. Detective Hank Anderson, a young but hugely talented detective, is said to have been instrumental in the operation, which took months of planning. The DA described the work of Detective Anderson and his colleagues as model investigative police work. Nice, man. Okay. Uh, becoming the youngest lieutenant on Detroit Police Force, Lieutenant Hank Anderson was among the most decorated de 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 detectives in the DPD's recent history. 
securing a number of high-profile arrests and serving an integral member of the force. Damn, Hank. Captain Flower said the promotion was long overdue, describing Anderson as, a, as among the most talented police I have ever worked with. The new lieutenant is expected to rise quickly through the ranks of the department and is already being tipped as a future commissioner. Way to go, Hank. A uh, new record seizure of red ice in Detroit. Nearly a ton of red ice discovered in the hold of a boat after a long investigation conducted by Lieutenant Anderson of the Detroit Pol Police Force. Okay, sweet. Is that, uh, is that it? Lieutenant was a decorated officer. No shit. Oh, speaking it's of the to devil. See you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hank! In my office. Um, okay. Guess we're following him. Oh, that's Captain Flower. Okay. I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. Yeah. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Sure. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen. I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Damn, he's pissed. Uh, positive? I don't know. I'm pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you, I'll do my very best. Close the door on your way out. Well, excuse me, dickhead. Have a nice day, Captain. All right. Go see the Deviant, check on Hank. Okay. Well, since I'm already here, let's, uh... Understanding... Programmatic... Uh, let's construct it... Excuse me, sorry. Uh, understanding. I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. Uh, if I say partners, I'll probably piss him off, so let's, say, let's just stick with positive. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Uh, okay, I guess partners. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. All right. Desk. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. All right. Sweet. Let us uh, take a seat. All right. Oh, we unlocked a lot of stuff here. Okay, uh, let's just start with dog. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The 
the dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? All right. Sumo. <gasps> I call him Sumo. Oh. Fuck a Pompadour. I'm going to name my dog Sumo if I ever get a St. Bernard. His name's going to be fucking Sumo. Thank you for that, Hank. All right. Basketball. I know you like basketball. You want to go shoot some hoops? No? All right. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Oh. Well, that went down pretty quick. Okay. Uh, music? Did you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well... I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. Okay, see? We're back up. Anti-androids. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah. There is one. Hey, we are back down. Okay, cool. Flower. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Oh, Fowler. Yeah. Too long. Hours. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? Okay. All right, Hank. All right. Let's let's just shut if you up have any files on and get to work. I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. All right. Thank you very much. Oh wow, we have a lot here. Okay. Disappearance. Victim Gordon Lopez. Uh, the tenders in case of any of the androids. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought that was the guy who was selling us paint. Okay. Okay. Destroyed. <gasps> wait a minute. Wait, wait. Leo Manfred. Leo Manfred was found unconscious in the home of his... Wait, un... We didn't kill him? We just knocked his ass out unconscious? Uh, he was found unconscious in the home of his father, Carl Manfred. The latter's witness statement attests to an altercation between his son and the house android. The android is, the, is thought to be a prototype on a model and serial, serial number. And was destroyed at the scene by attending officers. Holy crap. They're talking about Marcus. Kara. Yeah, we just saw Todd leaving the building not too long ago. The plaintiff claims he was violently attacked by his domestic android in, uh, in an AX400 model. The android had just returned from being repaired the previous day and had shown signs of aggression in the past. Yeah, aggression. Sure, bud. Is that it? All right. Two hundred and forty-three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX four hundred is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. All right. Well, let's go. Uh, professional. Okay, let's just stay professional. Oh, maybe not. I didn't ask for this investigation, Lieutenant. But I'm sure you're a professional. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Okay. Uh... Uh, 
the term. Oh. I'm going to file a report with my superiors that you refuse to work on this investigation. Oh. Oh, oh shit. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Okay. Lieutenant? Okay. Uh, sorry to disturb you. I did not choose that. It chose it by itself. The AX400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Where did we go wrong? Like... We were getting along so fine, and then he decided to snap just like fucking that. Ah, Hank, you are gonna be a handful. Holy crap. 64%? Okay, you know what? I'll take it. Why not? Alright, let's keep it going. Alright, same day. 10.25 p.m. Oh, is this Kara? Yes! Right where we left off. Alice trusted. Good. I'm glad. Let Alice rest. Oh, alright. I'll just let her relax. Go, you're awake. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So it wasn't a nightmare. Oh. No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. Uh. You want a bath? How about a nice warm bath? And then we can go out and try to get you something to eat. What how's, do you say? How's that sound, Alice? Okay. okay. Family? I'll run you a bath. Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Nice. Let's start this bath for her. All right. <gasps> Are we going to remove the ring? <gasps> the scissors. Oh, this is going to hurt. All right. Wait. <gasps> We're cutting our hair? Oh, she's watching TV. Okay. Hey! I like it! Wait. Different color. Blonde. Okay. Uh, white. Okay, kind of looking like Jack Frost. Okay. Black. Ooh, I like the black. I actually really like the black. Ooh. I'm gonna stick with the black. I like that. Oh, now we're gonna remove it. Alright. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, God. You better flush it. So they don't see it or find it. Alright, let's stop the water. Sweet. Alright, Alice. It's time for your bath. Oh. You're what? pretty like that. Aw, thank really you. Like you're human now. Thank you. What are you watching? Your bath's ready. What you watching here? Are you watching a Disney movie? If that if that's so. 
Okay, she's gonna do her thing. Okay. Let's see what else is on. Oh. Nature channel? Ch channel? Channel. Jesus Christ, English. Oh, that's the Boston Marathon. Let's change that. Thanks, Michael. I'm joined by Corktown resident Todd Williams, who oh, was no. violently attacked by his AX400 around 11 p.m. last night. Todd, can you tell us what happened? I was having dinner. I was minding my own business. Damn thing jumped on me. Managed to defend myself, but it went crazy. I thought it was going to kill me. So I fought it off, but it ran away. Thank you, Todd. Disturbing news for Android owners everywhere. Police have launched a search to find the Android. Let's hope they find it fast. Oh my god, dude. Now, th that's what they're, who it's they're looking true. for. He's lying. He's the one who tried to hurt us. I know, Alice. I know, I know. What are we going to do? We have nowhere to go. And well, the police are looking for us now. Hey, we'll figure it out, hon. All right, we'll figure it out. Family contact Android can't stay here. Uh, family. Do you have any family? Anyone who could help us? No. It was just Dad. Well, we can't stay here. We can't stay here. We don't have any money. Well, I mean, did we get enough money to, you know, not just pay for the hotel, but also get, get something to eat? Well, we're Android, we don't really eat, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean? At least get something for Alice to eat. You know what I mean? We have some money. Like, go, go to McDonald's. I mean, they got, they got a dollar menu. Everything, all the shit there is a dollar. Just get a couple of McChickens. Throw, throw it down her gullet. You'll be good. That android yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. Could be. Uh... Supportive. It's us against the world, Alice. Just the two of us. Yeah. We have to learn to trust each other. I only have you, and you only have me. And I'm going to do everything I can to make you happy again. Oh. You break on my heart, game. You break on my heart. Finish getting ready. I'll go out and find some food for you, and then we can get going. Yeah, go get some McDonald's. Like I said, I mean, what? It's like 10 in the morning? You can still go get, like, an Egg McMuffin. You know? Get breakfast. All right. D okay. Breakfast time. Oh, it's still raining outside. Great. Oh, crap. That was Connor. Lieutenant Anderson, Detroit Police. Looking for a female android robbed a store down the road last night. You seen anything? An android? No. I don't think androids here. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Fuck. I knew there was something weird about her. She came in last night. She was dressed normal, you know? There was no way I could tell. Is it still here? Yeah, probably. Room 28. Oh, crap. Thank you. Search Motel 20. Now we're playing as Connor. Oh. Are we seriously going to be switching around characters? Uh, no. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. You're a machine, so shut the fuck up and do what I say. All I want is to accomplish my mission. I'm sorry if that upsets you. You want to see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. 
I mean, we, we gotta go along with the storyline, honestly. Oh god, we actually have to go... Oh god, I don't like this. Alright, go ahead, Hank. You go ahead first. If I can go up the stairs, that would be lovely. Thank you. Oh god. 28. They're already gone, aren't they? Yep. Good thinking, Kara. It's gone. Oh. Wait, where'd you go through? We used to train station. Okay. Oh, crap. Sneak past police? How am I do that? Hide. Okay. Okay. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's go. Danger level. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're in this together, Alice. Oh, hide. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> that was close. Alright, let's keep going. Hey, mama, 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 Sita. Okay. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, you were right there. Oh, okay, sweet, sweet. All right, let's go. Oh, boy. <gasps> hide, 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 hide. Oh my god, dude, this is intense. Okay, we made it. Sweet. Nice. We did it. Okay. Oh. Why you gotta break in my heart, Detroit? Why you gotta break in my heart? Ah, my heart. <laughs> it can't take this emo <laughs> all this emotion. Reach the train. This, the train safely. Oh, dude, look at all the options that we could have gone through. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? Look at all of these paths. 18% complete. What the... What? Er... Hey. We made it. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years <gasps> Marcus. Okay. Customers are reminded that all 
Oh! Check symbol. What? What? Uh, okay. Oh, wait. It's this right here, right? Yeah, it's right here. Is that the symbol? It is. All right, find the next graffiti. What? What? Wait, no, I need to look. I need to look at that again. Oh, it's a lion. Okay, it's a lion. It's a lion. Okay. Maybe it's down here. Androids only. <gasps> we could blend with the humans now. That's right. Oh. <gasps> there it is. There it is right there. It's literally right there. How do I run again? No, that's not it. I guess I can't run. Alright, that's cool. So where would it be? It would be literally right there. There it is. Okay. Oh, wait. There we go. Use the... Oh, wait, there's two? There's two. There's two. <gasps> ah! <laughs> ah, nice. Okay, something with flags on it. Wait, is that it? It is! It's right there! What's up, fellow humans? Don't mind me, I'm just standing here doing human business. There it is, right there. Alright, that's one. Ah, you sneaky feckers. There's two. Alright, I see robots. Alright, and it's next to a fence, so there's a... F uh, maybe it's around the corner. More than likely, it's around the corner. Excuse me, ma'am. There you are. Oh, there's three in this one? Ah. Where's the third one? Where's the third one? See, that's one. That's two. Where is the third one? Oh, wait. Oh, we can actually go through. Okay. Okay. So. <gasps> there you are, you son of a bitch. Nice. And let's scan this puppy right here. Ah, <laughs> gotcha. Alright, something with a woman's face on it. Okay. Oh! Huh, would you look at that? All right, there's also three here as well. So that's one. Okay. Find a way to reach the roof. Okay. Oh, duh. I can use a trash bin, just like in The Last of Us. Wrong one. Uh, hello? There we go. Here we go. 
Oh, there we go. Okay, I see you, Marcus. So that's one right... <gasps> hello, hello, hello. What do we have here? Symbol number two. And symbol number three has got to be around here somewhere. Uh, all right, well. Find the next graffiti. <gasps> oh, it's blended in. Gotcha, you son of a bitch. Nice. Okay. I see you, Quantic Dreams. Over here, trying to make me look like a damn fool. Oh, no. Oh, that's a wall run. Or I could just jump it. And then do that. There we go. Alright, sweet. Damn, Marcus. I see you, boy. I see you. Alright. Oh, there it is. There's Jericho. And I already see all three. There's the first one right there. Third one is literally, I just saw it. There's that one right there. And we also have right there. Okay, what the hell is that? Okay. All right, what's the safest approach here? Could go through that way. Okay. Would be too high. Uh, okay. So we got we kind of got to go through our uh we got to go through our routes. All right, let me try something. Let me see how the other way would work. Will not be solid enough. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. Uh, let's go back this way. Okay. Not go to the right. Nope. No, 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 no. Let's try going this way. Too unstable. Oh, wait. There we go. That will work. All right, let's do it. All right, I see you, Marcus. I see you. Good shit. Alright, so the next graffiti, let me look at this real quick. What in the un actual living fuck is that? So this would be, this would be this right here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, 
Oh. Oh, that's sick. That is actually fucking bonkers, bro. Okay, maybe we can go from back here. Go and look at it. Dude, that's literally perfect right there. Is that not good enough? There we go. There we go. I, more? Seriously, what the hell is this? Uncharted? All these damn pallets away. I gotta deal with pallets at work. I, I don't want to deal with them in games. And let's go. Okay. Got a beautiful sunset going on. Wait, does this jacket say meta? Fucking Facebook, man. <laughs> okay, so... Reach the boat. What? Oh my god! Okay, well that... We could have been killed. Okay, cool. That's just fan diddly diddly tastic. Okay, so maybe, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Oh, that's a big ass boat, bro. I can't whistle, but damn. Wait, are we gonna jump this thing? Oh, hell. Oh, hell to the motherfucking no. This thing is unstable. I don't like that sound. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought we just jumped to our death. Wait, where did our jacket go? We lost our metaverse jacket. Okay. Hello? Knock knock, coming in. I examine. Oh, it's a flashlight. Okay. Oh, okay. Hello? I thought I saw something. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Okay. It's locked. Alright, maybe... What is that sound, bro? Bro. Alright, that's just the other side of that. Got a little... Oh my god, what the fuck? 
Well, I'm just gonna go on home. You have a, a blessed life, and uh, I'll see you guys later. All right, let's go. All right, well, we gotta introduce ourselves to the strangers. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my sweet Jesus. Oh, wrong one. All right. Hello? Anybody home? Oh god, this ship is unstable. What the fuck? Oh my god. Alright, apparently- Oh my- Yeah! You would be dead. You would be dead if you were a human, bro. That would have severed your spinal column. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh my god. Welcome to Jericho. What? Is that Is that the guy that we shot at the beginning of the game? What? Hold on, bro. Let's do one more mission. One more, because I'm feeling a little fancy, but that looks like the guy that we shot at, at the beginning of the game. Oh, what? Why would you do? Okay, I mean, it might be copyright, so he did us a favor. Reconcile with Latuna Anderson. Okay. Yeah, see. Hey, listen, I got a shit hot tip for you. Number five on the third. Lickety split. That Philly's one hell of a chaser. You want to flood it? Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wages, baby. <laughs> Come on, this is different. It's 100% guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Yeah. Who is you, buddy? Who are you? Who are you? Pedro Abardo. Abar? Abar? I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, but... Uh, born January 25th, 2005. That would make him... Shit. Uh, late 20s, maybe? Late 20s, early 30s? Uh, unemployed, criminal record, illegal gambling, and fraud. Oh, so Hank is friends with a fucking criminal. Okay, that's cool. Uh, who's this guy? Uh, Gary Keynes, born December 3rd, 1988. So that would make him in his... Shit. 40s? Like, late 40s, I want to say? Okay, uh, business owner, criminal record, resisting arrest, breach of hygiene regulations. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, real quick, is there anything else that I can scan over here? Yes, no, maybe so. Okay, man, cool. I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, won't regret this. What? What is your problem? Living? You do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. Uh, let's apologize for our behavior. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. 
You've even got a brown nosing apology program. I mean, hey, raise it up. Cyberlife thought everything, huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is playing on the uh? Oh, hockey. There you go. All right. What you uh? What you? What's your preference? What's your meal? An extra large soda. S Holy Christ. 710k calories, sugar 184 grams, carbonated pineapple passion. That actually sounds good as fuck. <laughs> Something, do anything with pineapple in it. I love pineapple, so you know, a little Hawaiian in there. Now Hawaiian pizza, pineapple does the. You know what? I'm not even gonna start that controversy. I'll let you guys to decide that in the comments down below. You guys can argue down there. And what's your preference on your burger? Okay. Holy fuck, dude. 1,680k calories. Lipids, 36 grams. Carbohydrates, 53 grams. Water, 53%. Salt, 2.2 grams. Holy Christ, dude. How If you eat this every day, how are you alive? What the fuck am I talking about? I eat McDonald's pretty much every day, so I should be dead at this point. <laughs> oh, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Don't leave that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. Okay. See? <laughs> See? You want fries with that? Uh, gambling. This Pedro? He was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're breaking the law. Yeah. Dude, you need to lower your cholesterol, bro. Your meal contains 1.4 times the recommended daily intake of calories and twice the cholesterol level. You shouldn't eat that. Everybody's got to die of something. I mean, you're not wrong, but you're not right at the same time. Uh. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Uh, Connor. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny, Hank. You funny. Maybe I should tell you what we know about defense. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, mm. which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? Yeah, that guy. A few months back. A deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Yeah. Know everything there is to know about me? I mean, not everything, but... I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? Uh, let's do sincere. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge, but adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. Hey, there we go. We got raised up a lot. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. Oh. It's a few blocks away. 
You should go have a look. Two. <laughs> Two. <laughs> so sorry. Me. Excuse me. I'll be in the car if you need me. Ugh, excuse me. Sorry about that. I apologize. That just came out of nowhere. Whew. Must be the change of seasons. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberline. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? <laughs> no. I'm coming. Hey, that works in both ways. <laughs> What do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ. Okay. We have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise. We're going to need more cops. All right. Let me look around. See if there's anything around. Oh, look at that. Are you really making a report back there in the elevator? Yeah. Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Shit. Wish I could do that. It's called technology, Hank. It's everywhere. One of these days we're gonna end up like the Jetsons. Flying cars and everything. You know. I mean, I... Take that as you will. <laughs> Alright. What is this shit? Feathers, Columbia Liva Rock Pigeon. Pigeons? Y'all got pigeons? I thought I could hear some in there. Police. Let's knock a little harder. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit Police! Oh shit. Stay behind me. Got it. Kick down that door, Hank. There you go, buddy. Oh god. Hello? Where is he at? Got a book, I don't have time to read that. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go. Oh, okay, you go ahead. Oh! What the fuck is this? Pigeons, I guess. Uh, Jesus, this place stinks. Yeah, there's pigeon shit everywhere. What do you expect to smell like daisies and roses? Uh, looks like we came for nothing. Our Maybe not. Oh. Gone. Maybe not. Oh, we got some clues. Call me Scooby Doo because I'm about to solve this mystery. Urban farm poster fields in the heart of the city, 265 acres, Avenue of Detroit. Oh. Okay. That's uh good to know. Oh. Poster corner. Recently moved. Hold on. Let's see what's back. The hell is that? It's a dick in a box. Oh, alien speeches? What was that? It's probably just one of the pigeons fucking around. Found something? I don't know. Alright. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Right. Are you Excuse me. Oh. Sorry about that. Change the seasons, you know? Are you in the closet? Nope, more pigeons. Is there something there? No. Alright. Alright. Oh uh, what the we got a lot of clues to go through. Get the fuck out of the way. Oh wait, we can look in here? What you got to eat? Ah! Pigeon shit. My favorite. What else you got? It's 
Spe suspect cares for wild animals. Yeah, I think a little too much, dude. Wi-Fi connection lost. Well, shite. Ah, Jesus, I hate these things. Yeah, I know. Oh. Driver's license. Rupert Travis. The driver's it's... license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's fair, I guess. Military jacket. Initials RT. RT. Probably initials. Yeah. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. <laughs> Real books. I thought I was the last guy in Detroit to keep some. Sample. Electronic books, you can't. Oh, God, I forgot he does that. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, it's blue blood. Okay. Paper. See the pages turning yellow. He cut his thing out. LED deactivated. Yeah, he cut it out. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Oh, it's RA9 again. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. Holy Christ, dude. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Hmm. What does that say? Obsessive compulsion writing. Wait a minute. Is he up there? Just like the last deviant? When it's still recently disturbed traces of avian fecal matter. You mean bird shit? What else is there? What else is there? What else is there? What else? What else? What else? What else? Hello. Open marker pen. Still wet. Recently used. Alright, let's reconstruct this bitch. Oh! Suspect was here recently. That's when he heard us. Oh. He ran to the living room. Okay, bet, 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 bet. Where did he go from here? Okay. Scratch marks. Skin marks recent. Traces of galvanized steel. Fingerprints? A baby in fecal matter, no fingerprints. Uh. Oh. Metal hug recently broke. Oh. Okay, hold on. Yeah, he ran into it. Ran towards the entrance. Wait a minute. Sucks, but it's heard us enter. <gasps> Where did he go? He's still here. He's still in the building. Expose it. Yep. Get your ass out here, boy. There he is. Alright, let's go. Stop right there, police motherfucker. Where'd he go? Oh god. Ooh, this is gonna be epic. Deja vu. Da 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 space before. Da 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 da. Fast but risky, slow but. Go this way. Hurry up. Wait, where'd he go? Fast but risky. Fuck it. Risky. Risky it is. Oh shit. There we go. Uh, safe detour. Oh shit. Go this way. Go, 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 dude. Go, dude. Go, dude. 
There he is, there he is. There he goes, right there. Get your ass back here, boy. Where'd he go? There you are. Get your ass back here. Oh my god. Fuck, where'd he go? This way. Go, go. There he is. Uh, fast but risky. Let's go. Let's go this way. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Yes, sir. Boy, you better stop running, motherfucker. Woo! Woo -hoo. Ooh. That is sick as hell, bro. Holy shit. Yeah, I know. Holy shit. Nice, 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 nice. Come on, man, you gotta stop running, bro. Hey, suck my dick. Okay, okay, are we good? Are we good? Uh, direct. Let's just go direct. Get out of the way. Oh, go this way. Go this way. Get out of the way, buddy. Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, Hank! Oh my god, Hank! Oh. Oh, what do I do here? Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, Hank. I gotta get the Deviant. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Hank. I gotta do. I gotta get this criminal, man. We gotta get the information. Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including class 4 errors. You've been deemed defective and will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. Don't you fucking move. Oh, damn. You, bastard. you saw I was gonna fall and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission. I had to make a choice. It seemed to me. What am I to you? A statistic? A zero, a one in your fucking program? I'm s huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Jesus. I understand you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment. Come here. Why are you doing this? All oh, right. You're one of us. Shut up. You're helping humans. But you're just their slave. I said shut up. Come along. All right, now you see me. Wait, what? Oh! Holy shit. He just self destruct. He killed himself. We did all of that for nothing. Fucking androids. Hank, come on, man. You gotta understand, I gotta do this, right? Hank. Well, shit. And that, yep, Ripper, Ripper committed. Yep. Oh my god, dude. That was insane. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's episode of Detroit Become Human. Whoo! You know, in the past two months since I've haven't played this game, has it been, it's been about a month or two months since I've played this game, a lot has happened. A lot has happened in this episode. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to be recording a few more episodes of this game. Today, I will also be recording episode 4 of Life is Strange and probably Days Gone as well. I am really, I have like a lot of energy in me today for some reason. And you know, I'm just going to try to push through as many videos as I can throughout today. So yeah, it's going to be a very productive day. I'm going to be very tired at the end. Holy crap. But yeah, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Become a fellow Slayer. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.
This is Zombie Slayer 2948. Sign off. Peace out, guys. <laughs>